<coughs> uh, good morning. Seven o'clock. I'm on the seventh of August. Fifty-six degrees. Um, uh, uh, oh boy! Sun <coughs> Sunrise was at seven or five twenty-four. Sunsets at uh, seven fifty-one. I believe. Where'd that plastic come from? Hmm. That's weird. I'll get to it later. I mowed yesterday. Four hours of mowing. I got about 40% done. I got the uh, east side of the house south side of the house to south field and that's it uh, didn't get didn't get this done didn't get the east the west or the north driveway so that's today if you can hear it there's a woodpecker going to town I moved the uh, motion sensor it was pointing up the air might be too low we'll see <coughs> come on thank you We haven't seen that many here, but there was one on the tree line, southwest of the house. Oh boy. TV tracks. Oh, we got a hair. He's eating an apple. Flint. No. Flint. No. Come on. No. No. Come. Good boy.
It's a Wednesday. <clears throat> so Kamal Harris picked her VP or announced her VP pick yesterday. Tim Walz, W A L Z, the governor of uh, Minnesota. I thought she was going to pick Mark, Mark Kelly. He's a uh, staunch gun control guy. <clears throat> He's married to Gabby Gifford, who got shot. <clears throat> but she picked Tim Moles. I don't know why. As a, uh, a reserve comment, but uh, but <clears throat> 18 years ago, he got arrested for drunk driving and driving 96 miles an hour in a 55 mile an hour zone, and he got off easy, he paid a 200 dollar fine. He actually tried to convince the, uh, the cop who pulled him over he was deaf to avoid uh, getting arrested. The, uh, the left was making a big deal of him being in the National Guard, but I guess they didn't know that uh, <clears throat> when his unit was deployed to Iraq, he uh, he cowered out and was able to get out of the deployment. So, not the same as stolen valor, like uh, that governor or not governor senator from what is it? Massachusetts or Connecticut. Blumenthal. He, uh, he for years was saying he was a Vietnam veteran. And he wasn't. <clears throat> but anyway. Yeah. Drunk driving and uh, I don't know how you uh, get out of the planet. Oh, another hair. Glenn, Glenn, are you hurt? Glenn. Some critters scat. Glenn, Glenn, buddy rabbit. Oh, you missed him. Come on, it's not the mud. <clears throat> so you got a, a woman running for president who hoard herself with multiple Johns to advance a career. And they, uh, Got arrested for drunk driving and <clears throat> lying to the cop. And uh, bailing out of the deployment. <clears throat> Running on the Democratic ticket. Let's go.
Yeah. Go to YouTube and search for uh, Judge Joe Brown. And uh, he details it for you. The different uh, different Johns that Kamala Hoard is up to. <clears throat> I was I thought it was only Willie Brown. But there was a basketball player and uh, I know she was uh, uh, some guy who used to have a TV show, talk show, Montel Williams, Montel Williams side piece. And then there's other things coming out that uh, she was an escort for uh, judges. To try and influence the judges. Yep. Come on, let's go. Sorry about that. I'm I'm, I'm just disappointed how the country's going. <clears throat> Got the hats on the side of my head. Same deer track as yesterday. Looks like he's ready to go. Got that walk. Yep. Bud. You try to do the two step, huh? Only one step. <coughs> All right. Come. I did have an omelet yesterday for breakfast. I smoked Gouda cheese, three eggs, and a Kaiser roll. Homemade Kaiser roll. <clears throat> it was good. I hadn't had an egg on a roll in probably 40 years. <clears throat> wife and I used to uh, get eggs eggs on rolls for breakfast oh probably 77 no 70 yeah 77 because uh, we lived in Bayonne at the time, Bayonne, New Jersey. And we take the bus, having your sea bus. <clears throat> I 
and then the path ran over to uh, World Trade Center. And then we walked over to Wall Street. Stop off at uh, one of the coffee shops there. Get the eggs on the rolls. <coughs> 78, we moved out of uh, Bayonne. Bought a little place up in Jefferson Township, New Jersey. Jim. Lived there for 38 years. We bought the place. Again, it was a little place. It was advertised a three bedroom, two bath. And, uh, The uh, town actually changed the uh, the house from three bedroom to two bedroom because the downstairs bedroom didn't have a window, so it couldn't be considered a, be a bedroom. <clears throat> but anyway, on a little postage stamp sized property, 23 one hundredths of an acre. That's a hundred by hundred. And uh, the taxes when we bought it, $100 a month or $1,200 a year. And it was, uh, didn't really notice it, but notice it because it was part of the, uh, the mortgage payment. The bank would take care of paying taxes. <clears throat> and I think my, uh, I think my mortgage payment was under six hundred dollars a year, um, um, a month. I'm sorry, a year. <clears throat> Paid fifty-eight thousand dollars for the house, and we did put an addition on in '87. Because we had two uh, two children, which led to a third child in '89. Come on, let's go. So we uh, put two more bedrooms on <clears throat> a uh, dining room and a uh, a hot tub room, a jacuzzi room. Sold that place because taxes had gone up 700 percent from $1,200 a year to $8,400 a year. <coughs> and you used to be able to uh, look online. They changed it; they can't look anymore. But last time I was able to check, the taxes had gone up over. Ten thousand dollars. Now, when we moved out in 2015, all the uh, all the kids were already out of the house. We had the old empty nest thing. You know, we're paying eighty-four dollars a year for what garbage collection. <coughs> <clears throat> Police and fire, well, it was volunteer fire, volunteer first aid, and I was part of that volunteer first aid. Yeah, eighty four hundred dollars that drove us out. Well, it drove us out because the uh, the wife's position where she was working, they moved that that job. Uh, two hours south of us, and there's no way she's going. It was already an hour commute. It was going to be three hours each way. There's no way, and there was no no mass transit from our place down to where it was going to go. 
and that uh, oh gee, 56 at the time. Nobody's gonna hire a uh, a woman at 56. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today. A little history lesson. Thanks for watching.